So tell me, what can we expect uh, for your character in this movie? Mino is still a badass. He's uh, athletic, he's powerful, he's, um, he's strong. He takes out a guard with his knee one time. Um, he's definitely the protector of the group. Um, he kind of takes a backseat to Thomas and lets Thomas lead a little bit more in this movie and uh, just makes sure that everyone's in line. I mean, that scene is, that was, I wasn't expecting that. That's pretty bad. That's running in and kneeing the guy in the chest. Thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah, Wes came up with this cool idea. He's like, yeah, we're going to give a tribute to Ong Bak, the movie, and you're going to come in here and just knee this guy in, in the chest. And I was like, okay, man, I better, I better do some stretches because I don't know if I can get my knee all the way up there. You know? uh, what, what's it like filming the action and those sequences in the movie? Is that something that you enjoy? I love that. I love that. I love the physical challenge of it. I love getting in shape for roles. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just a lot of fun because not only do I get to act, but I get, to, I get paid to like work out and be healthy. So, I mean, that's good in general for your personal life. And so it's a win-win for me. And um, th this film is, feels much bigger, and I think it is bigger on screen as well from the first one. Um, did you experience that? Did you feel that when you were making this movie? I don't know. That's a good question. Um, I didn't focus on the fact that this was going to be a huge movie. Um, but definitely I can tell just by the camera setups and... What, what Wes was trying to do with the camera and, and the settings that we were having. I knew that this was a bigger visual movie. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like Wes has done a good job making this movie into like something. It's just, this movie is shot just beautifully. And so I'm just really proud of that. Excellent. Can I ask you a bit, a bit about Dylan as well? Um, sure. What's it like working with him? Uh, He's cool. He's a ultimate professional. He brings it on every take, every day. This guy does not rest until he gets it right. And so when you have the lead of a movie doing that, uh, everybody else rises to the challenge. And us being a good family that we are, um, we support each other. We support Dylan. He supports us. And so it's, a, it's hard. You know, it's hard work, but it's easier with uh, good people around you. Have you read the final book yourself yet? No, I'm waiting for the script, but um, I was talking to Wes. It's going to probably take a little bit, so I'll probably read the uh, book when I get back home in L.A. and then wait for the script, I guess. Do you think the characters have changed at all based on how you've played them in the movie? So uh, in terms of the script for the final one, will it be different because of the way you've played your character in the first two films? I'm not sure. I think the books are still a good uh, source material for us and for the writers. Um, I mean, I'm definitely thinking that you know what we've done in the first two movies will influence how our characters act and do what the things we do in the third one. Yeah. yeah. And finally, can I just ask, um, what can fans expect from this movie? Just non-stop action from the f beginning to end. Uh, it's a great ride. Hopefully you guys have fun and enjoy it. Thank you very much. Cheers, man.